As you can see, they're feeling the love here in New London and inside Union Station. Folks tell us it's just the beginning. The Coast Guard does matter to us. The U.S. Coast Guard Academy is feeling it. We're thrilled with the partnership, with a chance to continue that partnership. And so is the city. The superintendent of schools says cadets have become mentors to students. When they go and talk with students who have had and are having success, that has immeasurable value for young people in New London. The New London Hearts the U.S. Coast Guard Academy campaign comes as residents voted down the sale of Riverside Park to the Academy. The focus here is to celebrate its more than a century-long relationship with the city and promote Union Station as a possible home for a U.S. Coast Guard museum. Does it give you hope that you'll be able to do the expansion in the city? Oh, absolutely. I have great hope for the future for New London and the Coast Guard. It's a huge treasure, and I just don't want anyone to take it for granted. And we don't down here. Barry Neistat and his wife are helping spread the love at their coffee shop, Muddy Waters. We're going to put this out, and people are going to write little love notes to the Coast Guard Academy. The culmination of this campaign will be February 14th, when these Valentines will be hand-delivered to the U.S. Coast Guard Academy in what folks here say will be a continuation of a beautiful relationship. On the scene in New London, Tina Detell, News 8.